Hi guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury Channel. And today I want to talk about when is enough enough? When do you know you have enough watches? And I got to tell you, something I'm finding quite refreshing is that a lot of people are having compact small collections and what they're doing is they're putting a lot of thought into what pieces they buy. And uh, I got to tell you, it's... um. I think this is good. This is a very good thing. And uh, I got to tell you, many people who have a whole stack of watches, every watch they could have possibly had from their first watch to the tag their parents bought them in grades in high school, to the graduation watch, to their first girlfriend bought them a watch, and oh my God. And uh, you look at these collections and it's full of the terrible word shitters. It's full of shitters. Then you see these people who've owned wonderful pieces, churned and burned. And uh, I got to tell you, there's nothing wrong with being a bit of a flipper as long as the horological journey has led you somewhere. And I got to tell you, it's an interesting formula. It's a very interesting formula working out how many pieces are enough for your collection. Now, ironically, one piece may be enough for a lot of people. In fact, I got to tell you the truth. When I had one watch, I was kind of comfortable. It was my watch. I wore it everywhere, uh, except when I was mowing the grass or anything that could have damaged my watch because it was an expensive watch. I'm talking about my Rolex Explorer 1 1016. And when I actually obtained this watch, I actually gave my previous watch, an Amiga Seamaster Quartz, I gave it to my dad because, hey, what did I need a second watch for? I got a Rolex. And this is an interesting thing. The collector is something that has only really developed with the age of the exploding internet. We're also far more wealthier than we have ever, ever been. So that's led to the collection. Whereas, uh, it's quite interesting, whereas somebody who was a Rolex person, uh, they may have had one Rolex, but they were Rolex people. Nowadays, there are people who've got really big collections, and, you know, it's no big deal. It's a very interesting thing that's happened. So, how many pieces is enough? What's enough and what is the perfect number? And it really does depend in your station in life and uh, where you're headed. Children are damn expensive. Divorce is vicious. Alimony, my God, these things keep attacking the man and his collection of, of baubles. But how many is enough? You just know it. And I got to tell you, I think I'm coming pretty close to having enough. I think it's like going to the buffet. How do you know you've had enough lobster? Well, when you really, really are full. And I've got to tell you, yes, I love my horology. Yes, 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 yes. I would love a Patek Perpetual Calendar chronograph. Yes, 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 yes. However, however, for what I really want, I think a really nice, impressive watch, like a Grail, like a Calatrava or some sort of fancy, pantsy watch is cool. Plus maybe two steel stunners to get life done. That's right. Two steel stunners to get life done. That's probably what most people need three watches is more than enough so i gotta tell you i really think in most cases there we have one really nice grail a special piece for special occasions and we have two steel stunners to get work done to get life done and i gotta tell you this is a very interesting equation less is more for everything you gain you lose something and I got to tell you, when you've got a smaller collection, you gain satisfaction in, in having it. You're not on an endless quest to acquire the numbers. It's quality, not quantity. And you are not worried about rotations and security and keeping them safe and this and that. And Yes, that's exactly right there. 
So I got to tell you, how many is enough? Well, I reckon three would be quite ideal. But, you know, in this day and age where there's never enough, it never stops, I think four or five for most people is adequate. And uh, it's really quite interesting. What do you choose? Choosing the different genres of watches. Some people collect divers. Some people collect one of each. They have a diver, a GMT, a chrono, a dress watch. And you've got to work out what floats your boat. What do you like and what do you want to have? And uh, this is the important thing. For me, I think you can be happy with one watch. You can be happy with two or three Four or five, I think, in the modern context, is more than enough. Five watches, for most people, is it. That's all you really need. Five watches is the Max, the Pepsi. And that's the way I think there. I think five is the magical number in this day and age. The age of having 10, 15, well, you're going to have a lot of filler in there. You want to have the horological journey. You've actually learned something. So in my opinion there, I think five is probably the, the most you could have want to have there. Five decent pieces. Five steel stunners. Well, maybe a precious metal, but majority would be steel stunners. So this is the, uh, the perfect number for us now. I think five is the one. The five. Five is the number which really floats a lot of boats. And I got to tell you, deciding on the right number for you is something you got to work out yourself. There's nothing wrong with being a bit of a flipper, going on the horological journey, as long as you've learned something and as long as you've learned to love your watches. I'm Archie Luxury. This is a guide to picking how many watches you need in your collection. Tell me what you guys think of that. Nice one, Arch. Great vid. Love to see these videos where you bag consumerism.